Good evening, everybody. Brother Ray here on the Saturday, beautiful Saturday afternoon, October 1st, 2022. It's about 10 minutes to 5 p.m. I hope you guys are having a blessed day, an enjoyable day in our name and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope you're blessed and your family is well taken care of. In Jesus' name. I want to read over scripture here today. This is we're gonna go over Philippians 4:8. And focusing on whatever is true, whatever is worthy and reverence and honorable for God. So Philippians 4, chapter 4, verse 8. Uh, for the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence and is honorable and seemly, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious if there's any virtue and excellence if there's anything worthy of praise think on and weigh in and take account of these things fix your minds on on them when we focus on the things that's just mentioned here um honorable worthy of reference true pure pure motives pure things that are line up with the will of god this keeps our hearts and our minds right with God. When we focus on things of the world, things that are negative, uh, things that do not glorify God or do not edify the body of God or your spiritual self, anything that we consume can destroy us. And, you know, it will lead us to a, a, a downward path and lead us to fall away in a lot of different ways with, with God. So what we need to do is, like it says in the scripture, brothers and sisters, Focus on whatever is reverence, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure. Focus on things. And this is what covers the word of God. The word of God is what's focused on. Focus on things of godly, um, through the will of God, through godly motives, through honorable motives. Um, remove the selfish ambition and the self-will every day, growing in Christ, staying in prayer, staying connected with him. I mean, the whole key is staying connected to his word and through his will, praying and having constant communication with him every single day. That's what we need to do throughout the day. We need to have constant communication with God uh, before we go to sleep. We need to have constant communication with God. When we wake up in the morning, it has to be an everyday ongoing process. It never ends because remember, the devil doesn't. He 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 um, prowls around like a roaring lion ready to devour anyone that's in his path so if you don't have your armor on if you're not covered in the will of god in his word through the bible through prayer through fasting through constant meditation focusing on his words and his principles and his promises and keeping them embedded into our hearts then we can fall away and fall short so the best way to, to keep your mind right is to focus on things of god things of pureness Things that are honorable, things that are lovable, things that are um, give glory to God. Um, eliminate all the negative distractions, the things that tickle the flesh, the things that will entice you to lead you to the wrong uh, areas that you don't want to go to. Things that you see on TV, things that you see on social media. And we all know what those things are. They have triggers, they have algorithms that will lead us um, to fall and fall away and um, cause us to sin. So we don't want to do that. We want to keep our minds right when the hearts might. And, you know, use the Holy Spirit when you when you have you have communication with God through the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit is telling you, if it doesn't sit well with you in your heart, even though you see that it's tickling you, it's playing with you, you, you struggle with something. Um, you need to obey the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit guide you all the way out through it and then run from it. Run from anything that will cause you to fall or to cause you to to gratify the will the willful sinful desires of the flesh <clears throat> so focus on things of god focus on the word of god stay in constant communication constant meditation and prayer with him throughout the day through our lord jesus christ yahusha hamashiach uh, lord and savior of all so stay connected with him stay connected to the vine let him let him dwell in you and you dwell in him and he'll dwell in you and keep you whole keep you right keep you on the right path and you never let go you hold on to it hold on to it with your dear life um just like his breathing 
Uh, the word of God is living. It's a living word and it keeps you alive and you never thirst. You'll always have abundance coming in and, and again and again. It never ends. It's a never ending life support for you. So stay connected to the word. Stay connected in prayer. Stay connected to God. Let his spirit stay dwelling in you and you will be fine. Just do this. <coughs> you will have uh, trials, tribulations. Those things will come. But you'll have the comfort and peace of the word of God and his spirit dwelling in you to guide you on the way. So you don't have to, you, know, you won't be alone. You'll have his presence with you. So this is Brother Ray here. I love you guys all. You guys have a blessed evening. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Peace.